Senegalese voters will go to the polls on Sunday. All eyes are now on the two released leaders of the PASTEF party who had been jailed last year. The party is seen as the strongest opposition outfit. Usman Sonko and his major ally Basiru Diomaye Faye will now have to quickly hit the ground running and mobilize their supporters according to observers. Sonko is banking Faye in the presidential poll. A Senegalese analyst says the freeing of Sonko and his second in command will change the dynamics of the 24th March presidential election. We know what will happen next. Sonko and Faye will remobilize the supporters here in Dakar and everywhere. They will go across the country to meet the people and tell them that everything is now possible. These two leaders will tell their supporters that their party can lead Senegal and try to fulfill the hopes they have had for so long. The dynamics of these elections will change radically. We all saw the impact he had during the municipal and legislative elections. It is thanks to him that the opposition has 80 MPs, something that has never happened before. Usman Sonko is a former tax inspector and founder of the African Patriots of Senegal for Work, Ethics and Fraternity, PASTEF. He was jailed after being prosecuted of incitement to insurrection and endangering state security, among other charges. His second in command in the party, Basiru Diomaye Faye, serves as a tax inspector and secretary general of the PASTEF party. He was charged with contempt of court, defamation and acts likely to disturb the public peace. But what does the release of these two opposition leaders mean for both Sonko and the government supporters? I think that Usman Sonko was arrested for purely political reasons because it was really difficult to understand what the judiciary was accusing him of. I'm convinced that the decision to release him with the past of candidate is ideal. This will help bring peace to our country. I have never believed the allegations against Usmani because they're all unfounded. Sonko is an honest man full of conviction. His first priority is the good of Senegal. It's good that the president of the republic has decided to release Osman Sonko and Diomaye Faye. We don't want anyone to go to prison and these two men are fathers. They got into trouble with the law and had to go to prison. If they are free today, it's good for everyone. It's very difficult to stay in prison away from your loved ones. I'm not a supporter of Sonko, but I think the president did the right thing in freeing them. My leader is Karim Wade. He was also arrested for political reasons and is now free thanks to a political decision. Usman Sonko appeared in public for the first time on Friday afternoon in Dakar alongside Faye. The two opposition leaders are upbeat about their party's chances in the Sunday polls. We are confident of victory. I can assure you that Basiru Diomaye Fai will be elected president in the first round of voting. I firmly believe this and urge all my supporters to be prepared for the elections. I would also like to take this opportunity to greet and thank all my supporters for their unwavering dedication. Thank you all very much. After 63 years of independence, we should not fear asking important questions that relate to a monetary sovereignty. Without monetary sovereignty, there can be no sovereignty in the fight for a fair and prosperous Senegal. Two candidates are surprised when we discuss these issues because they want to reassure their Western superiors. On Friday, the Supreme Court rejected the petitions of disqualified presidential candidates, including Karim Wade, seeking to suspend the decree setting the election date and campaign period. Candidates still on the ballot paper are now stepping up their campaigns in the crowded race for Senegal's top seat. Wanja Mungai, CGTN.